This is a really powerful and hopeful time. The last time that we really had this kind of excitement around a vaccine was when Dr. Salk announced that he had a vaccine that would um, cure polio for the um, during the polio epidemics. And so this is, again, just a really hopeful time um, in this coronavirus pandemic. And so we do expect vaccine, um, the COVID-19 vaccine here in our community sometime maybe even next week um, after the ACIP meets. And so we'll have, um, the state has, has, these, has allocation um, groups that have been identified and we are really excited to be able to offer the vaccine first to um, healthcare workers, specifically those who are working in hospitals, caring for the sickest of our patients. We anticipate just under 2,000 doses of vaccine. Yes, the vaccine is safe. So really we look at three things when we're making a vaccine um, or when, when science is making a vaccine. We look at time, money, and safety. We're never willing to give up safety. And usually we're not willing to give up money. And so it takes a lot of time to make a vaccine. Well, in this situation, again, we're not willing to give up safety and we can't give up time because we're in this race against time. And so we've had to really give up money. And so the federal government has put in lots and lots of money so that we can have a vaccine very quickly to combat COVID-19. And so yes, the vaccine is quite safe. We've had lots of people ask us if the vaccine is going to be mandatory. And the answer to that question is no, the vaccine isn't mandatory. While it is life-saving, it's not mandatory because it's, um, it's, it is, um, approved by the FDA under what's called an EUA or an emergency use authorization, it's, it can't be made mandatory. What happens when you're vaccinated is you some your immune system is ramping up to build antibodies against that particular germ. And so sometimes after you get vaccinated, you have a little bit of fever, you may feel a little bit crummy, sometimes your arm can be kind of sore, and those are really expected side effects of a vaccine. But it's impossible to get the illness from the vaccine. It's impossible to get influenza from the influenza shot, it's impossible to get COVID-19 from the COVID-19 vaccine. I think it's important to note that vaccines aren't new. We have, we have vaccines for many viruses and many bacteria. And so the process for making vaccines isn't new. And the, the manufacturers have gone to great lengths to make sure that this is a safe product. And there have been no, um, no significant side effects or no significant reactions actions noted in the studies that they conducted. And so I think that's a really important piece and that this technology isn't like the, the process of making vaccines isn't new. Right now, prevention is the key to slowing the spread of COVID-19. So we have to wear our masks, we have to socially distant, you know, limiting groups, washing our hands, and those things are going to be critical until um, there's a time that that transmission is um, reduced to a point where we're not seeing people get sick anymore. Vaccine is one tool in that toolbox. And so for a while, we're still gonna have to wear our masks and we're still gonna have to do these things until enough of us have been vaccinated that that transmission has dropped off to, to a, a point that it's not causing a problem anymore. I know that we're tired. I know that this has been exhausting. I know that we are weary. This vaccine and the just the pulling together of our community, especially around this activity and the, the process of being vaccinated is, is one that is kind of that light at the end of the tunnel. And so I'm excited about a vaccine. I know that I'm excited about when, when it will be my turn and I hope that you're excited about when it's your turn.